personalized doormat tonight. How's that sound? All right, now what I did was, we'll give everybody a second here. Um, there's this aura mask material, vinyl, that I get from 651 Vinyl. Hi, Marsha. How are you? Let me see if I can scroll down to the comments. I'm working on some last minute gifts here, so I figured might as well do it all live. And just hope my kids aren't watching. Because <laughs> they never are. So, but it'd be my luck. They would be tonight. So, oh well. They're adults. All right, I'm going to pin some links up here. Quartz. There we go. All right. All right. So if you wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd appreciate it. If you're not signed up for my YouTube channel, I have the link in here. Um, it's the third one down in my comment. So let's get started. Okay, I cut this out on my vinyl cutter. All right. And when you do this as a stencil, you're doing it a little bit different than you would normally. Because normally what you would do is take everything off and just leave the letters or whatever you want, you know, left. But, yay! Let me just stinky son of a gun. Stop popping up on me. Now I think it... Oh, you know how long I worked at this thing? It's, it's not easy to work with but it turns out really nice when it's done so I tried to go ahead and do one so you wouldn't be waiting forever but anyhow with this uh, it's gonna happen on live it's gonna happen on live regardless of how hard you try all right so what I'm gonna do I'm going to show you, I, I made another one here. So what I'm actually doing is taking all the lettering out because that's what I want to appear on the, the mat. So I'm removing what I want to show. It's kind of the reverse because you're actually making like a stencil with your, um, this is Aura Mask. Or a mask vinyl and I got it from 651 Oracle or 651 vinyl I'll get it it's been a long day now you're actually pulling out the letters now because these little arrow slits are so tiny I'm not even going to use those so I don't care, I'm going to be removing those. And then you start by removing all your letters. Now, with this, anytime you have a letter that has a middle to it, and I'll show you, like an E or an A or an O, you're going to have to put that middle back where, you, where it's going to be on your mat because we're going to be dabbing paint on top of this so like for instance the last letter on here is an a i kept the center and i'm going to put it right where it would go on the a and this little thing right here is actually and i'll show you on the see this part of the W right here so I want to put this in here because it needs to be in there because
because I want that to be the mat. I might as well just go ahead and start doing this for you so you can see it. Now you can use one of these foam brushes because that has a nice straight edge there. But I also use these. And it's because there are some spaces that are going to be easier with this little brush. Now this is just multi-surface acrylic paint from AC Moore. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be dabbing it on. And then when we remove the stencil, all that's going to show is what we want to show. So again, you have to be, you have to understand that when you're, hi Ann, hi Dawn, hi everybody, um, you just want, it's again, the reverse of what you would normally do with your vinyl. Usually you want to leave all the, the letters and stuff. We don't want to do that. We're using this as a stencil. Okay. And you can let this dry. You don't really have to do anything to it. I do plan on just putting a nice um, spray of acrylic over top of it. But really, this should hold up really good. Now this mat, okay, let me tell you what this is. This is, the name of this mat is, is spelled C-O-I-R, doormat. It's an 18 inch by 30 inch. Now you can get these on Amazon, but they're $10 more than what they are in Home Depot. In Home Depot, it's the same mat and they're $9.99. So, um, just FYI if you want to try this. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to really get that. It's a dense mat, so I'm really trying with this paintbrush to get it down in the fibers. And it's a little messy when you have to remove it, but it's so worth it. I don't recall what this um, Aura Mask um, fabric runs on 651 vinyl, but it's not too expensive. And if you have a vinyl cutter, this makes for a nice gift because it's something personal. I have four of these to make yet. I have several gifts I'm working on. Plus a lot of custom orders, as you can see from my my page today. There's been a lot of stuff going out the door. So basically, you're just dabbing the paint. Now you could like do this on the sides, so you're not getting underneath it, but you're getting the part that you you're getting the paint where you want it to go. And then in the middle, you dab it. Has anybody ever tried this? I think the most, the hardest part of this was actually removing this and putting it down. Because I didn't, um, I didn't use the transfer tape when I did that because I didn't want, I knew this would be hard getting it to stick to the, to the mat itself. So I didn't want it sticking to the transfer tape and then not being able to put it down. Transfer tape is what you use when you're transferring your letters onto your board or whatever your, your sign or whatever you're using it for. try to dab because I don't want to pull up the the um, stuff here. Is Ty on here? Ty, why didn't you get on our call the other night? 
Are you having trouble getting on in your new group, our group, Team of Dreams? If you're having trouble getting on, make sure you contact somebody. We're on tonight at 8 o'clock, too. Okay. may have gone a little small on these letters too but I'm only working with a 12 by 12 um, you know mat so and so you have to be careful with the letters that have the little pieces of vinyl in the middle like the G and the A and the O And you don't want to play with this vinyl too much because you don't want it to lose its stick. Lose its stick because it's very important to get it to stick in place. You can go back over too if you see some spots you think you need to add more to. This is a design that I got on Etsy. It has the, the letter and then the area where you can put the name in the middle and the two arrows, if anybody's interested in the design. And because these letters are small, I'm trying to be really careful because I can go back with a small paintbrush after I remove this and I can um, touch it up. I just don't want to get underneath the aura mask. Does anybody have any questions so far? She won't tie, she's telling you the truth. <laughs> Ty is one of our newest members who just joined our team of dream designers. We go live Monday nights and Friday nights on a Zoom call. And you get to talk to us person to person. It's all done with video conferencing. All right, let's work on the, I have down here established 2012. You could put welcome to and then the person's last name. I mean, there's there's a lot you can do with this. And again, it makes it personal for the people that are receiving the gift. And I'm all, I'm all about making, hand making gifts. And I'm not near done. So I've got a lot more stuff to do. And it's going to be pretty messy when I try to get this up. There's going to be paint everywhere. On the stencil or mask. I got a boo-boo, I'll figure out something, how to fix it. Like I said, I like, I like this brush better sometimes. Gets a nice, um, it gets in, in the fibers, and that's what I like about it. All right, so here we go. Just want to keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Woo. Look at that. And I didn't get any on the. Yay. All right. Now I'm going to remove the middle of these letters. 
or numbers. You all remember my granddaughter being here the other day. Well, this is for her family. Always one stubborn piece. Oh, that one's stuck. <laughs> tie it's really easy if you have a vinyl cutter it really is I think I would have went a little bit thicker on some of these letters but I can go back over it with a um, you know a smaller paintbrush Ooh. let's see if I can turn this around move this stuff so I don't end up we go now how hard was that see simple now I could if I wanted to you know make a stencil of some scrolling or something and put it here or here I don't know if I'm gonna do that I'm gonna let it dry and then like I said you can I'm not gonna do it with this paintbrush but I'll get a thinner paintbrush because I see a spot there and a spot there but look at that okay $9.99 and one piece of mat and that's it simple I I have a vinyl cutter it's not actually a Cricut it's a, a brother scan and cut same thing as a Cricut it's just made by brother um, because that one actually goes with my embroidery machine too so let me show you we'll let that over here to dry doesn't that look good against the that brown all right so what you're doing remember what I said you're actually pulling out the letters normally you would leave the letters and remove the background but when you're making a stencil you need to do it this way and you don't have to mirror it or anything all right so basically all I'm doing is removing all the pieces of the letters first here on the end of the arrow I didn't feel the need to sit there and mess with those now <laughs> it's not gonna make a difference and then like I said you have to leave the inside of the E and here's another part of it I have to leave because I want to, um, after I pull this off, then I want to be able to put the middle of the letters and such down so I, I don't end up, because see, if I took this out, you wouldn't be able to really tell that's an E because that middle piece isn't there. So you're leaving that. Oops, there we go. Let's get rid of this because this is the bottom part of the W and then the arrow and I'm just gonna take these off yikes jumpy little critters you could easily I mean you look online and see how much personalized doormats are they're expensive I mean I've seen them start at 30 and head up as high as you know 60 so I don't see why you couldn't get that for it. You just have to remember to take the letters out. Not you normally you leave those behind, but here you're not. Now see when we get here to the to the six, we're gonna need that inside. So we can distinguish that that's a six. Same with the zero here. We're going to need that to show. To put in the middle. So I'm leaving that. Now I, have an, I have more mats, so I'm going to grab another one because now I'm going to show you. This is the whole process. I leave this on my computer. 
cut it on my vinyl cutter. Now we're going to be removing just the blue and placing the blue on top of the mat. So let me get another mat. This is great because I'm showing you guys how to do something and I'm getting some of my Christmas presents finished. All right, now what? See, my mat for my, my cut and scan is only a 12 by 12. So, like I said, if you wanted to do something on the sides, you're going to have to cut it and put your stencil over there and work with it that way. All right. And mine isn't sticking well to my mat now, so I've had to tape it down. So we don't want that tape getting in the way of it sticking to this. So we want to get that off. But yeah, you go look and you just type, just Google personalized doormat and see how much they are. And like I said, these are, you know, $9.99 at Home Depot, the same mat as the 1999 one on Amazon. Now this is the part that's hard, okay? It's not, it's not easy. I found it difficult. Now watch it make a liar out of me. Okay, I'm gonna start this edge And come over to here. First of all, I kind of want to put this, I know because of, of the size of my, my vinyl here, I know that if I go eight and three quarters from this side, I have eight and three quarters from this side. All right. So now what I'm doing, and I think it was, it's about three and a half from the top and bottom. Yeah, three and a half. All right, so I'm going to try it like this, this time, and see, but when I did that, it kind of pulled and ripped it, so I ended up having to um, go ahead and tape it back in place. I'm going to adjust it, but for now, I just want to get it off the, it's called, or a mask, masking film is what this is named. See, it's really hard, so I'm better off doing it this way. And, and probably, because of the size of this, I probably would have been better off too if I cut it in half, because I would be able to get it back on. It's, I hate when it's so curly. Maybe I should have um, flattened it out when I took it out of the box and let it rest a while so it's not so curly. Because see, then you have it sticking. Oh. Let's try it this way. I'm going to find an easier way to get this off. But for now, i got to fight with it. See, and then it ripped it. Don't worry about the inside of the numbers or whatever, because we can go back and get those. Come on. Gosh. There. Now it's not so bad the mess and if it goes back on itself then you have a bigger mess so I guess the best thing to do is bring it out of the box and let it sit for a couple of days flat before you go to use it well that's not too bad I know I ripped one part of it where is it I didn't. Yeah, I did. Right here. So, to make sure that my paint doesn't
go through there, I'm just going to put a thin piece of um, scotch tape there. Let me see if I have my measurements right. Nope. Let's come over here a little more. I think that's the ticket. Go ahead and let it sit. Because they send it, I had so much vinyl, and I it comes in this box, and they just have it all rolled up. And I think it needs to be laying flat before you work with it. Now I see one little rip here, a little rip there, so I'm going to add some scotch tape there. I try not to press it down until I'm all done getting it where I need to get it. How did it get over there? There we go. Let's see if we got it up here. Yep, three up here, three there. Yep. Okay, we're good. All right, so now we're just going to press it down. And then we're going to pull off our extras that we need. Remember, we got the middle of the W here. Now I have the, the um, arrow here, so I don't want to put it all the way down. I want to make sure it's kind of centered and still has the same amount of space for the arrow that it does there. Hi Tequila, how are you? Miss you. Miss you. Okay, then we're putting our the middle of our E back in. And then we have the 20, the middle of the, the 0. And then we have the middle of the 6 we're adding back in. So when we pull it off, we'll know what we've got. Now I'm going to get the tape and, and tape that part that um, ripped. This is Aura Mask from 651vinyl.com cut on my vinyl cutter and we've done the reverse we removed all the letters because that's what we want to show and for those just joining us here's the first one we did can you all this design came from Etsy it just gives you the letters with the arrow. It, it, it has it broken up so you can add a name in there. If my daughter, my stepdaughters are watching, they better turn it off and not look. Okay, so we're just going to dab. If you want to get to the edge, we can do it like this and then dab. And this is just multi surface acrylic paint from AC Moore soon to be no longer <laughs> so all you have is the cost of your mat your or a mask is not going to run you that much and you want to go with a nice dark color against 
like see I'm using black and this is lighter it just makes it pop it shows up better Dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. And this acrylic is nice. It's kind of like um, gel. So it's going on here real good. Oop. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't think I had that pushed down enough. I can do that on the bigger, but I can't do that where we have a little centerpiece because it wants to pull it right up. Now, can go ahead and use the straight edge on this too. So you can use the foam brush if you want. And that's getting in there just as good as the brush too. I just can't dip it. It's bigger than my my um, jar of paint. So get it on there. <gasps> no! I got it on there. <gasps> oh well. Leave it to me. Let's see if we can get it off quick before it starts to... Or we'll just add a design over here. <laughs> Gonna have to add a design there. I'll add a scrolly thing on that side and a scrolly thing on this side. Dang it. Well, now you know what could happen. That's actually coming up. It's not too bad. No. Okay, you know what I'll do next time? I'll have this right here. So when I do that, I don't end up getting it on there, but it actually came up pretty good. Just blend it in. <laughs> I know. I got the water sitting here because I'm downstairs, so I think I want to add a little more to that to dilute it so it comes up better or like I said I'll just there just looks like the rest of the mat because it's shaded in spots just not even going to know There we go. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'm gonna go back to this brush. something huh I can actually cut down into the fibers a little bit and it's gonna make it totally disappear so okay <gasps> shoot 
Okay. Ugh. Don't mess with that thing anymore. Get that out of my way. Well, now you know what can and will go wrong. So learn from my mistakes. Yeah, it just says um, multi-surface on it. Acrylic craft paint. I think I had this pressed down enough. And these letters are kind of small. I thought I had one of my smaller paintbrushes down here. This paintbrush is not it's causing part of the problem. It's it's creating like a suction on the ore mask and it's actually pulling it up. So maybe I would have been better with a smaller foam brush. Or even one of those round um, stencil sponge brushes. Oh, okay. Good to know. I don't have any of that yet. <laughs> no baby wipes here yet. February. We'll have some. But right now we don't have any. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. The brush is pulling, it's got so much paint on it, it's pulling up the vinyl. It's creating like a suction. It's hard for this aura mask to create a really good um, seal on this because of the fabric, you know, the material that this is made out of. Not even getting in the there we go.
that center right up. I'm going to get my little paintbrush. much better. I know I have a little paintbrush that that'll just do I think it's upstairs. Yeah. I'm going to go up and get it, guys, because I need it for this number six to finish it. And it's got to be straight. This one is too, too fat. It's not going to work. So let me just go up and get it because it's just that one line that I have to do before I can pull it off. about that. Because it lifted up the middle of the six. I don't want to mess around with a big paintbrush. Okay. Much better. could even use probably one of these and it would even do better. I know, right? Lily, do you have a vinyl cutter? If not, hubby needs to get you one for Christmas. And tell him Robin said so. <laughs> Finding that the little paintbrush actually does better in these smaller letters. So maybe your fonts, you know, you could change your fonts up a little bit too. That might help. I'm just making sure I got everything because I want to pull this off. I don't like leaving it sit for too long on here because I don't want it to get like stuck to it. All right, I think we're ready to pull. Oh. I think I spread it around enough that it's not going to be noticeable. <laughs> All right, let's go for this. 
looks great. I can still see the spot. Maybe after it dries. It's usually darker when it dry, you know, when it's drying. So, all right, we gotta pick this up. Come on now. Whew. And we had this. I just don't want to drop it back on the mat. And I see some paint that should be spread out a little. Got a bit of a glob there. Just going to do a little touching up. Make it more uniform. looking for spots I need to touch up because that paintbrush after it worked well for the first one but after that it was not not good so I think maybe this or a film one just plain film one small enough to fit in in my uh, paint jar because it left a lot of spots that I'm now going back and touching up. And this paintbrush is really good at touching up. This is a, I think this was a Simply Simmons one. I have some camel haired ones up upstairs that I really love. Brought another a vinyl sticking to my shoe. I am almost burnt out, people. I cannot wait for this week to be over. Once it dries, it won't be as dark. But there we go. I think we are we are done. I only have two more to do. <laughs> and this got a little goopy. I can see in some areas there's a lot of paint. So that paintbrush did not do well second time around. So this one will really have to dry a lot longer.
thank you. I've got to start writing down what I give the kids because the next year it's like, did I make them that yet or didn't I? So black is really messy. I think we're good. And I think by tomorrow when that dries, you're not even going to see it. And like I said, I'm just going to do a thin coat of acrylic just around this. It says I shouldn't have to, but I think I would feel a little bit more comfortable doing that. <laughs> They're not the ones having the baby, so I can't put a little footprint right there. <laughs> it'll it'll dry up. You watch. You won't even notice it tomorrow. Cuz like there is like black in it, you know, throughout, so just brush on it a while oh yeah I guess a little footprint would look cute but like I said I can do some scrolly you know stuff to fill in this area too thank you well guys I'm gonna head off I've got dogs to take care of before our uh, our um, class. Ty, are you going to join us tonight? Do you need somebody to help you get on or do you know how to get on? It's a Zoom call, so you have to go to zoom.com. So you let me know if you need help, okay? And I hope you guys can join me on Wednesday. I will have a couple of announcements. Thank you, Wilhelmina. Miss you, girl. I'm missing conference. I need to talk to Pearl and see if she's having another one. It was a lot of fun. All right. Oh, good. All right. We'll be looking for you. Okay, I'm not sure who's going on tonight. There was a little bit of confusion. <laughs> somebody filled in for somebody, so we'll see. All right, guys, you have a great evening, and I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. If you can't be here at 2 Eastern Standard Time in the afternoon, then watch the replay. Okay? All right, have a good evening. Good night.